Hey guys, Anatoly from Define Agile here. Today we are talking about how to create quick filters in Jira. We will also cover Jira query language, a little bit of introduction to it, a very powerful tool. Let's jump right into it. So here I have my scrum board with active sprints and I have my quick filters here. Right now by default there are three of them issues in progress will show me all issues that are currently in progress. Um, it's I don't have in progress comps, so it skews it up a little bit. Only my issues, anything assigned to me. So you see there's one issue and recently updated, which uh, issues that were updated in a certain period of time. So we want to create a new filter and uh, we'll create a very useful filter, the one that will show us stale tickets. So tickets that, that haven't been moved at all for extended period of time very useful in your stand-ups. You can look at this filter and say, okay, what's happening with those tickets? Why are they uh, staying in their column for so long? Okay, so let's do it. Uh, first of all, what we need to do is we need to, let me make it more visible. We need to go to three dots here. Then we need to go to board settings. Then uh, you can be anywhere. I was on quick filters recently, so uh, it remembered where I am, but usually go to just quick filters tab. And then here you see all your quick filters. Remember three of those I talked before, issues in progress, only my issues recently updated. So this is uh, a name column. And then JQL is Jira, uh, Jira query language, which allows you to do a little bit of programming and uh, do some cool searches. So let's see how those three are done. Issues in progress. Uh, are all the issues that have status equals in progress. I don't have status in progress per se, so you haven't seen any issues there for me. Only my issues that are assignee equals current user, so there are some functions in Jira that you can access, very useful, lots of documentation for JQL, so it's very intuitive. And then recently updated uh, is more equal to minus one day, which will display uh, it should have been updated in the last day. So now let's create our stale issues filter. All we need to do in our name, we'll put stale issues. So this will be the name that uh, will appear in drop down. In JQL, uh, let's write a query that we want to create. So we would like to create a query that has two conditions. One condition will be that status is not done because uh, done issues are okay if they stay in done column for as long as they want. And a second condition would be that uh, they were updated more than uh, seven days ago, okay? So let's start with that. So first of all, we care about status, uh, not equal, you can use is not. This also means not equal. You see Jira auto completes things for you, which is great, so you can say Jira. Uh, status is not and you can say done so this is already a valid one it will show you if it's valid this green check mark and this will mean that show me everything that is not done which is not super useful for us at the moment because we also want to check the one that haven't been updated for a while so we do end and end allows us to pipe together multiple conditions which is good then we go to updated date or uh, updated. So you can use any one of those. I'll use updated date. So it's similar to recently updated. We just need to reverse uh, this condition. So we need to say uh, less or equal to seven days and it will actually show us everything that was updated uh, seven days or longer and status is not done. So. Description, I usually like to put description mostly for other people who are looking at those. So you can say, show all issues that are not done and was not updated for seven days. Also for you, when you look back, it's cool to have those notes. Then I click add and your new filter occurs. Let's check it out. We go to um, our project. And in our project, we have a quick filters. 
uh, we can click on it and you see we have stale issues uh, when we click on it it's sh done should disappear because we said not done and I know that I moved one issue from thumbnail creation to upload to YouTube so this one was updated today as well so this should disappear let's check it out okay so without it we see that it's not working so let's go and figure out why it's not working. So probably something in our jQuery uh, did not work well. So one of the things I see that uh, probably it's not done because done disappeared uh, fine, but then we need to, uh, the seven days probably should be a minus seven days. Let's check it out. It's trial and error. You can definitely see that uh, you need to try a couple times to make it work. Okay, so minus seven days worked fine. Probably need to go to documentation and check how updated ad works there. But you can definitely see that if I uncheck it, this ticket is here. And if I check it, it disappears. Okay, so. There's a lot of documentation in uh, Jira forums about JQL, a lot of examples. You can do some really cool things. Uh, you can also have some custom functions. If you don't like uh, seven days, you can have something like start of the day, start of the month, start of the week, start of the year. So a lot of things you can do here and it's very, very powerful. So I highly recommend you guys try it out play with it, see what works for you, what's not. Uh, please leave any comments if you have more questions about it. I'll be happy to talk to you about it. I created a whole bunch of uh, filters in my life. So uh, yeah, I can definitely be happy to help you out. If you want me or my team to help you set up Jira for you or support uh, you with your uh, Jira beginnings, we can do that as well. Please go to defineagile.com. Let's schedule a free consultation and see how me and my team can help your business. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Bye-bye.